Okay. One, two. All right. Number one. It says determine the value of A. Determine el valor de A. Okay. So what part does it want to know? The blue or the green? One, two. You're asked about this problem when you're talking during the problem. So you're not going to understand the problem if you don't listen to the problem. Okay. So there's red, there's green, and there's blue. It says determine the value of A. So what does it want to know? The value of A. The value of A. What is the number for A? Okay. So you're like, well, how do I start this problem? It's telling you right here. Remember all the little clues. A is this part. All this part, this spot right here. That's A. Okay. So angles, all you need to know about angles is that they're just corners, okay? So in this corner, angle A, how do we figure it out? Okay? Well, they told us what the whole thing was. When they give you this, they're telling you all of this whole angle is 133 degrees, okay? So they're saying the whole thing is 133 degrees. They told you. They're not gonna give you this kind of problem without giving you clues. The second part they told you was, if the whole thing's this much, 133, and we're supposed to figure this out, they gave us this piece, 32. So all I have to subtract is 32. If the whole thing is 133, this piece is 32, then what is this piece? I just subtract. Three take away two is one. Three take away three is zero, and I bring down my one. So what is A equal? 101 degrees. Okay. What kind of math did I do for that? Subtraction. Subtraction. Can we all subtract? Yeah. Yeah, but you have to know what you're looking for, right? Yes. So you just need to understand the angles. And all the math problems they give you, they're never going to give you a math problem that you can't solve. You just have to know what to look for. They're not going to give you something, oh, you, you can't do this. is impossible. You just have to know the clues. You got to look for it, okay? So they say the whole thing is 133. This piece is only 32. So if you subtract it from there, then whatever's left has to be this piece, okay? So for number one, it should have been 101 degrees, okay? Angle A. Number two, perpendicular. Parallel or intersecting, okay? Paralelo. Is that how you say that? Paralelo. Paralelo. Dos líneas nunca se, se toc, not touch. Se tocan, okay? Para, paralelo. Los líneas nunca se, se tocan. For parallel lines, they never touch, Okay? So this is your picture for tomorrow. If you don't know how to do this and you sit there tomorrow and you're like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. They're just going to be different picture, pictures. Okay. So the first line. But there's two, there's three. Okay. I'm guessing that says paralelo. So paralelo is these. Okay. So you would write parallel on this one. Escríbalo. Okay. So for these, on that picture, you guys are writing parallel. Okay. Mañana van a tener el problema del mismo. Okay. So necesita escribir todo para mañana tú sabes cómo hacerlos. Okay. Esos que están haciendo todo. Si no saben, escríbalo. Okay. All right, so if you don't know, you're taking notes now because tomorrow I won't be here. You're going to have your first five. They're going to be exact same kind of things. So make sure you're writing it down. You're writing it down. You're not sitting there. I have no idea. Okay. Perpendicular. Okay. Perpendicular. 
Those lines cross, but they don't intersect. Intersecting means they just touch somewhere. Perpendicular means when they cross, they make 90 degree angles. So they're perfect. It's like a perfect T. Okay. Now the P the T, the perpendicular can look like this. It can look like this. Okay. It doesn't matter, but it's straight. They're two straight lines going together. This is not straight. These are intersected. Okay. These are intersecting when it's like this. These are perpendicular because right where the, the T is or wherever it's happening, this is perpendicular. Okay? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. And the reason we, you're like, well, it looks like intersecting. They look the same thing, just a little tilted. Not really. On a perpendicular one, on perpendicular, if you draw a box where they meet, And they're all perfect squares because they're all going to make, this is 90 degrees. So perpendicular is important. When you have perpendicular lines, they make 90 degree angles. Intersecting lines don't. So every corner right here, if they go, what's, what's the measure of this angle? Angle A. What's the measure of angle A? It's 90 degrees because they made perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines make 90 degree angles. Remember I told you there's rules in math? Well, if you have two perpendicular lines, then you know all the angles on that perpendicular line are 90 degrees. That's a rule, okay? So this one is perpendicular, so you're gonna write it on here. Or, I'm gonna do. Okay, so you're writing that on there. Yes, Danny. Yeah, we did have this, but a lot of us forgot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this wasn't the first time I did this, or I showed you guys perpendicular parallel. But if we don't use it all the time, then we'll forget. So that's why I want to add it to it at least one a day. Okay. All right. Now the first one, intersecting. Okay. Intersecting looks like this. If I try to do straight lines, it won't happen. Like one's going to be bigger than the other or lopsided because intersecting means they're just crossing. Two lines that just cross. They could go like this, like this. This is intersecting. Okay? Yeah, on the first picture. Inter, intercession. Okay, I see. That's it, it's perpendicular. But they look like this. They look something like this. Okay? Or it looks like this. This is what they're showing you. Okay? It doesn't matter where the lines meet. Oh, here's well, here's the other cool thing about lines. If they don't have an endpoint, and an endpoint looks like this, so if they don't have this on it. That means, and they have arrows, those arrows are infinity. They go on forever, okay? An arrow, if it has an arrow at the end, you can imagine that line going from here to the end of the earth, okay? Because they didn't put an end on it. An end point means it's over. It's here to here, okay? That's a line segment because it's a piece, a segment, okay? This is a line. Which means that line goes on forever until... So, if I tell you, are these intersecting or perpendicular? Yeah, they're intersecting because at some point, the lines are still going to meet. Are these parallel? Yeah, because they'll never touch. They're going to keep going like this forever and ever, and they never touch. Those are parallel. Parallel lines never touch. Okay, Perpendicular. If this line kept going up and down and this line kept going, these eventually would cross and they'd be perpendicular, okay? So if they have arrows on the end of it, they go forever, unless it has a line segment, unless it has a dot.
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So this one was intersecting. Okay. So on your pictures, make sure you're writing them. Okay, waterfall. Okay, one, two. Write those down. If you don't have it, you better write it down. Okay, otherwise you're going to be doing this later. because That's why I'm recording it. Now, number three. 251 to 151 divided by 2. 151 divided by 2. All right. So, number three. This is number three on your um, journal. It says 151 divided by two. Okay. All right, let's review. What was the first step? First steps, Danny. All right, good job. First step, underline the two numbers. Did you hear her, Karina? Okay, so did you do that? Yeah, all right. Next step, what do I do, Angel? I'll give you a hint. Magic box. And then what do I put on top, Angel? A two. Why, Angel? Two is the what? Is it the dividend? It's not the dividend. Divisor. It's the divisor. Good. All right. It's the divisor. Whatever number's right here, that's what goes on top of your magic box. And what do I want to get to first? What do I want to get to, Bonnie? Close to what without going over? Good. Okay. So what would I look for? If I was going to my twos, what would I find? All right, two times what? Seven. All right. Okay, but, Julia, is she good? Are you, estás bien? Estás escribiendo? Ese es número tres. Okay. All right. Are you, is she on number two? Okay. All right. Okay, two times seven. What do I do next, though? Angel. Power of zero, right? Because I have three digits, Kadisha. I have three digits. So if I add a, a zero, what is my answer now, Kadisha? What's my answer now? Two times seven was 14. If I do the power of zero, I got two times 70. That makes it what? Well, what's two times seven? Right here, Kadisha. What's two times seven? All right. So if I add a zero here, what do I get to do here? Okay. So now, this is the number I want to use. So I'm going to use two times 70 equals 140. Then I take this number and I'm going to go subtract it over here. One take away zero is one. Five take away four is one. Zero take away, or one take away one is zero. Okay, am I done? I'm not done yet because my dividend is still bigger than my divisor, so I could keep going. Daddy. Good. So two times five is 10. All right, so that works because that's 11, right? So 2 times 5. Equals 10. And so I take this 10 and I subtract it from here. 1 take away 0 is 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So I'm left with 1. When it is smaller, whatever you have here, when it becomes smaller than the divisor, you're done. Okay? So I do have a remainder, right? I do have a remainder. So what's my answer? How do I find my answer? What's next? Leslie. Okay. 
Those? Okay, the two multiples that we used, right? Two times 70 and two times five. And what do we do with them? Add them up. Zero plus five is five, and I just bring that seven down. So that is my quotient. So I write it right here, 75. What do I do with that one, though? What do I do, Juan? Remainder one, good job. Okay, and that's it. All right. I'm gonna have a problem just like that tomorrow. So if you don't remember, make sure you put your steps. Okay, make sure you have these steps. Don't worry, you're gonna have it on here so you can watch it later. That's what they'll do when they're in orchestra and choir. Okay. All right. So that was number three on our. First five. Okay. Number four says use the equation to solve for this. Okay. Now remember, what is the equal sign? If, if you just remember these two things, when you have a problem like this, okay, when you have a problem like this, use the equation to answer the question. You just have to remember. Two things, okay? Two things you got to remember. It has to stay in the same order. It has to stay in the same order. And you're changing these signs into words. So if they stay in the same order, and I'm, using, and I'm just changing these two things, I'm using, instead of using that, I'm using words, okay? Then it's easy. Well, first off, it has to start with what? What does it have to start with? Move it out of the way. What does your problem have to start with? Or your answer? Remember, I said it has to stay in the same order, so what does it have to start with? One. 252? Yeah, 252. If 252 is first, then in your... Answer, 252 better be first. So I can already eliminate A and C because 252 isn't first. Equals means what? What does equal mean? There you go. Good job, Rodrigo. Equals, equal means is. So it better say 252 is. Okay, they both do. So they're both good so far. What number comes next? 42. 42. Oh, 42 does come next in both of them, so they're both still good, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what what does the x mean? Multiply. Times? It means times, okay? But I've never I've never um, is is 42 more than 6? Is that what it's saying? No. 42 is more than 6. It's saying 42 is times as many as six okay so when you see this this means times as many as okay turn it off put it away okay so if you don't remember that what is it make sure we have that written down okay so this equals means is, times means times as many as. And then they have to stay in order. So if you need to write stay in order, <coughs> make sure you write that, okay? Stay in order. And that's it. And there was like quite a few of those problems on the NWA. There was at least three. I think like I, when I would check and I was looking at some of yours, I seen a bunch of these. And then for some of you, I saw a lot of these. Yeah, I was like, okay. So one, two. There's some easy points out of here. Like these, you didn't even have to do any math. You just had to know how to read it. Okay. And then these, these are a little bit of work, but you just got to work them through. You got to do them. Okay. So one plus two is easy. A plus four is. Twelve. I put I put a twelve here. No. 
Oh, you put a two and then you carry the one over. Okay, two. Eight and then seven. Carry the one. Seven plus one is. And then I put my comma. Six plus four is. Ten. Okay. Now some of us forget that step, carry, because we don't even practice this that much. They just assume you should know this, but practicing isn't like tomorrow. You'll probably have a big subtraction one, okay, instead of an addition. But just remember to carry. Yeah, because that's the only part when we make a mistake on that. All right.